Yeah. But Dave's passed it. Yeah. Dave's Jace. Hey Dave. Yeah, hi Dave. Um, so Dave's looking at doing yeah. this part of it yeah. because he's doing all plastering anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I've said to him, why are you knocking plaster off when you're coming across? Once you learn this thing, one, you know, you're going to get more chances to do more work with this. Yeah. You know, did he have? Well, you know yourself. It's, it, this, the sort of plastering, getting it so like you can do. So this says doing tanking. This is tanking. Yeah, this is yeah. So they put the plastic up. Yeah, the plastic. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying to you guys. The, the delta membrane, which we class as delta membrane. That's a base that they cover. Yeah. That's it. It's just like they used to do back in the day where they put some biscuit, latte, yeah, board yeah. it, and before you know it, you know, because look, uh, everybody would get more wise to that these days with surveyors, architects, uh, estate agents. So the membrane part of it, that we use that only when walls are absolutely wet through, they like in basements yeah. and stuff, and you've got to put the sump hole, yeah. drain it into the floor. This green and put their stuff with the floor down. Now, they've uh, did some of yours for the week, uh, up at Tomadon, Tomadon and something else that way. Water pressures, water tables are high, everything else. This system will stop any sort of water coming through. This, when we do a base, this would a solid floor would overlap this, depending on what condition. Um, and if we knew that there would be this green. Uh, DPM under there. So we, what we do is overlap this onto concrete by six inch, and then we put a barrier mortar, which I've got to do on this wall at some point. It's like a fill it a barrier mortar because these 90 degrees corners is your weakest places, especially a floor to wall, because that's where water pressure would be the most chance of coming up. But once that's overlapped onto a wall, onto a floor, even though this system up to here can go on floor. So once this is uh, once this is covered over that side, this is not, that delta membrane is classed as a damp management. So you are managed the damp pressure, obviously. Let it come through, go into an hole, go to pump. If that pump, if you go to some a lot of water, that pump, if that fails, you're screwed anyway because you just come back and come back ring down. Once you do that system, more times people all then spot board onto delta membrane. But again. That's the general plasterboard, is that absorbent? If you've, if you've got poor ventilation then, you're going to get black spots anyway. So this doesn't have it because it's got lime in it. And you've got no damp anyway. Yeah. You've stopped it. Yeah, it's a lot it's a lot of more hard work than just going to plug in and put some sheet in. To me, but, a lot of problems where people spot board. Yeah. Onto, sit, onto, onto attic so bedroom onto walls it. and it yeah. just draws up moisture yeah. through. Well, like you say, the spot, the bunch of spot boarded it, it'll come through, uh, you yeah. might even see it said adhesive, um, and they're wondering, well, I've just done that. Well, but on the other side of it, the weather shield part of it, depending, you see, there's a lot of the ventilation, you've got penetrating down, you've got the ventilation, then, depending how small the house is, uh, if they don't open windows, not like that. That can all this high moisture content within an house uh, with condensation as well, bathrooms, cooking, all that jazz. There's a lot of moisture what the rock plaster boards can't handle. And then if you've got a, a solid wall and you've uh, put board adhesive onto that, what's going to happen then is that wall's going to then start sucking, getting warm and then sucking the moisture through. You might want to, you? 